In this presentation, we're going to look at is the cross product of two three-dimensional vectors. Okay, so I have a vector there, u, and it has coefficients a, b, c, and I have an, another uh, vector with coefficients d, e, f. Now, there's, just as a remark, there are various different ways to sort of denote a vector in three dimensions. Uh, one way is to write it as a column vector, just like I have there in red. Just underneath, I have them there written out in a sort of uh, notation where I use i, j, and k just to uh, uh, sort of uh, emphasize which direction each component is associated with. It's also quite common, that's the way that a lot of engineering students would learn it. In a lot of uh, science subjects you might learn it as AX plus BY plus um, CZ, which is also the same. Uh, also actually, um, essentially just I for X, J for Y and K for Z, but uh, it makes no difference really. Uh, so anyway, just actually, that was just a remark on some general forms of notation for vectors. Uh, there's a few other ones as well, but those are the three I sort of tend to stick with. So what we're going to do here is come up with a, uh, a cross product of two three-dimensional vectors. So this is really for a pair of uh, three-dimensional vectors, this method. Uh, so if for four-dimensionals or uh, so on, it doesn't really work out as well. So essentially what we're going to do here is, uh, well basically it just makes no sense to, to try it this way. So what I'm going to do here is actually rewrite out, first off I'm going to write directions there because the answer of what, uh, the, the outcome of this uh, operation is also a vector. So the cross product is also a vector. Just to sort of counterpoint that with the dot product, well, the dot product will be a necessarily a scalar number. So the cross product is going to be a vector. So first off what I'm going to do in the top row there is uh, I said you're going to set up a matrix here and we're going to get the determinant of this matrix. And in the top row of this matrix here what I'm going to do there is just write out the directional terms there i, j and k or in other words x, y and z. Then what I'm going to do here is write the coefficients for u along the second row okay and then along the bottom row, the third row, V. Now if you switch the order of U by V, you switch the order of what row they go into. Okay. So for example, this is specifically U. U specifically goes first, so it goes into the second row. And V goes into the third row because it comes, it comes uh, after the cross symbol there. Okay. So what we're going to do is simply get the determinant of that matrix. Okay. So this is the sort of general for, uh, approach for getting the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. Um, what we'll do simply here is just pick the top row, okay, and we pick out all the terms for the top row, okay. And what we're going to do here is, uh, so we pick out the, uh, all of these elements from the top row, so we have i there, we have j there, and we have k there, put a little, uh, arrow symbol on that. And we also would sort of uh, have the sine array symbols there. So we would have plus, minus, and plus. So we add or, add or subtract according to the sine array. And then what we'll do here is we will get the uh, coefficient, the, the submatrix, and we'll get the minor uh, submatrix and just get the minor, which is the determinant of that submatrix. So for i, you cross off the row and column, essentially what's left, you're left up with uh, this submatrix here. This is the submatrix for i, okay. The submatrix for j is as follows, okay. So just add those two components there, okay. It's when, uh, what what you get left when you cross off the row and column that j is on, and finally the submatrix for k. Oops, uh, the submatrix for k is simply this part here, and essentially what we do is get the determinants of each of those components there, those submatrices there. I could write it out a little bit further, but essentially uh, I'll just uh, to remark that um, yeah, well, well, well it's, uh, essentially it's just a determinant of a two by two matrix. Now, if you don't know how to get the determinant of a two by two matrix, you're already into stuff that's too hard for you here. So what I'm going to do is like come up with a little example here. So I'm going to let u equal to one, two, and five. They, again, I write it as a column vector. Uh, put a just a little arrow symbol there to emphasize that it's a vector and not a position. Uh, how about three, four, one? Okay. Okay, so how we might also write that is x, 1x plus 2y plus z, or 5z even, and 
uh, another way where you could write this here, I'll just stick to X and Y and Z here. I used I, J, K the last time, but X, Y, and Z is directly equivalent. Uh, 3X plus 4Y plus Z, okay? So again, I use X, Y, Z there, but I could have also used I, J, K. So I, I will use I, J, K actually to get the cross product of that, okay? So again, rather than X, Y, Z, uh, I, J, K, I, J, K. So uh, one, two, five was U. So that goes in here. One, two, and five, and three, four, one. Okay. So let's get this out. Uh, this is I. So the the minor submatrix is this. Okay. And that is two times one. I'll make the biro a bit bigger. Two times one minus four times five, okay, plus j times, so that's two times one is two, so it just looks, yes, doesn't, so it doesn't look like 21 there. So I'm just going to make a little bit more room here. So j, uh, let's look at its submatrix, okay, one and three, five and one, so one times one minus three times five, okay? And that, sorry, that is in a negative position for the sine array, okay? So uh, that would be a minus there because it, uh, this is in a negative position for the sine array, plus, minus, plus. So the K is next and that's in a positive position and its submatrix is as follows. So it is all of that there, uh, one, two, three, and four, and that works out to be uh, one times four minus three times two. So working that all out, two times uh, two times one minus four times five is minus eighteen. Minus eighteen i uh, minus uh, one minus. Uh, um, 15, so it's minus 14, but we have a minus there as well already, already. so the uh, minus signs cancel out, so we have uh, plus 14j, and then finally minus 2k, 4 minus 6, okay, and again this is a minus here and a minus here, and they cancel out, so we have 1 minus 15 is 14, so minus minus 14 gives us plus 14. So that is the answer there. That is the cross product, and again, it is actually a vector, okay, and that's it. Uh, just as a remark, we can also use other notation again, for example, minus 18, uh, 14, and minus 2, and so on. Now, something that might be of interest here, uh, something that will be useful later on, is something that might be interesting is the tr uh, uh, scalar triple product, okay, and that follows on from this, okay, the cross product and so on. Okay, so yeah that's enough. Uh, it's a useful, the cross product is very useful and as a building block in these this stuff here, vectors. Okay, that's cross product of two vectors.